told her she my wife for the weekend But don't me acting like a nature cause we probably like yeah. This is how I basically start my Friday. So, guys, today's Friday, and today I'm going to talk about top interview questions for someone who's getting into IT. And um, maybe there are more top questions, but to me, there, this is the top questions that you are going to hear in your interview for entry level position. Number one, they're going to ask you, do you know anything about Active Directory? <laughs> This is like so many people. Just go to Active Directory video that I made uh, for like you know training videos, and just check how many people commented that I didn't know anything about this till I went to interview, and they asked me, "Do you know how to add a user in Active Directory?" Um, yeah, that those these terms are in the Active Directory training is extremely important. Number one. Now you're gonna get this Office 365 a lot. A lot of these off in the mid-sized businesses and the, and a lot of um, uh, universities, colleges, institutes. Man, so many people use Office 365. Uh, so it's not a joke. Just go to Google and just type office365.edu. When you type .edu, you will find out how many universities are using that. So number one, Active Directory, get to know that we have a full course on that. Go to jobskillshare.org and finish the Active Directory user management course. You'll learn everything for entry level um, Active Directory training. Second, Office 365, we got the course. Jobskillshare.org, Office 365 administration. Take that course. You'll learn everything that you need to know in interview and technical stuff. It doesn't, we don't just show you lectures, it's hands on. Help desk ticketing systems. Oh my God. You know, I don't know what company will not use a ticketing system these days. Remedy, ServiceNow, I support, track it. So many different ticketing systems, but you just need to know how to do ticketing because when you um, go to interview, they will say, do you know how to assign calls? Have you ever experienced, uh, have you ever uh, used any ticketing system? Then you can talk about Spiceworks that we have in our, um, we did a training on it. You can talk about anything that you go online and do demos and get practice on it. So when someone talk about ticketing system, you already know. Oh, ticketing system, you're talking about assigning calls and stuff like that? Yes, I know that. And then after that, we have a full help desk course that will answer questions like technical things like, you know, imaging terms. Do you know how to image computers? Yes, I know because I took that course and I did full projects and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Do you know anything about software deployment installations? Oh, yeah. There's a, there's actually a full section in our courses that we talk about software deployment. So that's another uh, question answered. And then after that, basic troubleshooting you know that's something a lot of people know I would say this is something that people might know because they work daily on some troubleshooting with friends and families or maybe some internship type of things but these are the things that people don't know about you know terms like assigning calls ticketing system active directory office 365 they know that uh, usually people focus on just technical part it's not it's like everything added now um, and then we have other trainings like you know servers like for example basic um uh server training like how do you log into the server as a helpless person and things like that so that will help you so these are the main questions um guys um to be honest you need to take the course because there are hands-on courses and you can go and just read the reviews um they're hands-on take it in also for people that are saying that what about when they say that you know you need an uh, prefer we need uh, two one or two years of experience preferred that's preferred that's not required so like i did i showed you guys some examples that how people got jobs without any without anything without any any uh, of uh, like you know hands-on experience so they got jobs it's just that you need to apply as simple as that you know you need to send your resume don't worry about things if they if they pitch you based on your resume, good. If not, move on. Apply to second place, third place, fourth place. Apply everywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, and then to solve that issue, just, just to say, you know what, we, we are going to provide you something too. So jobskillshare.org, we also tell you that you can have very good chances and tell people that I have a hands-on experience by teaching something on jobskillshare.org. It helps us. It helps you. Because then you get a real title from our job, Skillshare.org, that you are a teacher. You are a 
techni- or you are a technical teacher. So all you have to do is say, you know what, I want to teach Microsoft Office uh, 365 or Microsoft Office Word, Excel, anything that you can teach, come and start teaching and you get the title because then you're a teacher, simple as that. A lot of people just like think you have to work somewhere, you gotta go to the building, start teaching. That's not how it is these days. You know, things are getting online. You, all you need is skills there. I mean, you need to show a person that I can teach. It doesn't matter if you, uh, some people might have 10 years of experience, but you might be really good at teaching. You might be really good at so- explaining your own skills because you have these skills, you know it. Maybe you never tested it. You, you just go and tell, sh- start teaching someone. I mean, I wasn't a teacher before. I wasn't like, uh, you know, I didn't do like some kind of professional teaching outside. What, what, what professional teacher what people call. I mean, I just went on YouTube. I know that I know this stuff and I can teach someone. And I just did it. I mean, I'm not gonna exp- I'm not gonna brag about myself, but you can go to the site. You can go to the site. How many people are happy about the teaching? So you can be a teacher too. I mean, it's not you have the skill. You're a teacher. Simple as that. Okay. Now that's it for today. I'm gonna make a you know on a, on weekend. I'm gonna add more uh, course related videos to the switching and routing. So that's going to be more course because on the weekend I have more free time than I will work on that. Um, and also some personal vlogs. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good weekend. See you guys on Monday with vlogs. Thank you.